Okay, this is part three. Given the formula, you write the name. There's no math involved with this part. So the instructions are over here on the left. We're going to name the ions in order as shown in the formula. They always go cation, positive first, and then anion, negative. And there might be different types of ions here. So if it's a metal cation, you're going to use the periodic table name and don't change it at all. If it's a non-metal anion, again from the periodic table, then you will change the ending to ide. And you see the ide endings are over here. And if it's a polyatomic ion, then you use the team name from your ion chart. You have a paper copy, but there's also this one here. And remember, there's only one positive polyatomic ion, ammonium. Otherwise, the positive ones are going to be a metal from the periodic table. So we have two examples done here for you. And you see here B2 and then CO3. I've highlighted the polyatomic ion so you can see it better. We always have a positive first and a negative second. So the first word, B, we read it from the periodic table. It's boron. The second part, the CO3, has a team name from the ion chart. So you see it here, carbonate. So boron carbonate is the name. Again, all of these words are going to have two words in their name, never three. Next one, we see capital MG, capital BR. So there's no polyatomic ion here. The first one, magnesium, we read it off the periodic table. And the second one, on the periodic table, it says bromine, but we're going to change the ending to bromide. We see that over here. If you're looking all over the periodic table, remember again that Thinking about whether it's a positive or a negative ion will help save you some time. If you want to try the rest on your own, great. If you want to do a couple more examples together, we can. So here, the next one, I see NH4, 3, and then N. So this is the one that I hope you're starting to recognize, NH4. That's our only polyatomic that's positive. So it's the only time you're going to see a polyatomic coming first in a formula. So if I draw a line, you can see that this time the positive one is the polyatomic and the negative one is not. So this one, NH4, has a special name. I've circled it up here in the pink side already, ammonium. And then the second word, if you look on the periodic table, it's going to be on the right side because it's negative, and it's nitrogen. But remember, it will change then to nitride. And we see that here on this chart if it's helpful. So this one is called ammonium nitride. All right, the next one, if you look at this, we see, um, again, we don't see any, we don't see ammonium. So this time the single, the first part is a single metal, Li, capital Li. And then we do, looks like we have a polyatomic again. So I'll name the first one just like it is on the periodic table. And the second one, we're going to look at the ion chart. So Li is lithium, and CO3, I think we just did that one. There it is again, carbonate. Okay, I hope that helps. Do your best.